We are already kicking off week three of the launch of our brand new show, The Vibe. I don't know about you, but I am feeling the vibe. And we'll be sending the vibe every day here Monday through Friday, whether it's exciting new trends in fashion and culture in China or around the world. Just this past summer, Chinese animated film White Snake 2, The Tribulation of Green Snake, caused a sensation with its impressive visuals and impeccable story. And you might also remember the movie Nerja. It became the second highest grossing movie in China two years ago. What is feeding China's growing appetite for animated films and how will it cut its teeth on original content creation? Louisa Lee tells us more. White Snake 2, The Tribulation of Green Snake, was one of the most anticipated movies in the past summer and has become one of the top 10 grossing domestic animated movies in China. Produced by Beijing's Light Chaser Animation Studios, the movie is a visual spectacle. Many say they were particularly stunned by an action-studded duo presented through an amazing watercolor look. In our setting, time goes more slowly in the Black Wind Tunnel, and we wanted to find a way to let audience sense it. So we chose the watercolor pen style to simulate the passing of time. White Snake 2 is the sequel to the studio's 2019 movie White Snake. Film studios in China are committed to franchises in recent years, hoping to build a brand that speaks to audiences and to achieve commercial success. In 2020, Jiang Ziya, Legend of Deification, was released in China. It is the follow-up to 2019's biggest animated hit, Naza. Many see them as a series aspiring to the Chinese counterpart to Marvel's superhero franchise, the Function Cinematic Universe. The country's improved animated production has led to many recent successes, Naza among others. A company in suburban Shanghai made Naza jump out of the screen, handling all the film's 3D animations. Almost all the work on domestically produced animated films is now done in China, with only a minor part done by foreign firms. Some of the Nerja productions was done overseas, but this was just outsourcing. China's animation techniques are now actually much better than those of countries that we used to lag behind. Neza broke multiple box office records and became the top earner of last year, taking in about 770 million U.S. dollars at the box office, with many describing it as a milestone in Chinese animation history. However, Hao Yu, the co-founder of Baozhou Manhua, one of China's leading animated film studios, said a mature film industry is not just about box office performance. Whereas in the U.S. and Japan, in a mature industry, uh, a box office only accounts for a small fraction of the overall income. Mm -hmm. So they can afford higher production budgets, which means they can pay the artists a lot more. Yes. So the artists will be able to stay in the industry, mm -hmm. and the more projects they do, the more movies they work on, they get better. But some other insiders say Neza has become a phenomenon that will play a significant role in the development of China's animated film industry. Neza proves that China's film industry is now adjusting its structure, coming to a new normal. In other words, capital is not just chasing popular topics or stars, but is rather investing in producers who are really making films. I think it's a great direction. And thanks to the efforts of Chinese filmmakers, the domestic animated film industry has seen a boom in the past decade. 
Besides Neza and White Snake movies, there are also hits including Monkey King, Hero is Back, The Boonie Bears franchise, and Big Fish and Begonia. Industry professionals believe, with increasing investment into the Chinese film market, domestically and internationally, homegrown creative talent is able to cut their teeth on Chinese content creation. Louisa Lee, CGTN.